Hello everyone. Today, I'll discuss about ESP32 camera board, and how to use it. The ESP32 cam is a low-cost development board with Wi-Fi camera. It allows creating IP camera projects for video streaming with different resolutions. It also has a built-in PCB antenna. This board also has a built-in micro SD slot for memory cards, and we can use memory card for storing video and others. The ESP32 CAM module has fewer I.O. pins, because, many of the GPIO pins are used internally for the camera and the micro SD card port. Here is the short specifications of the camera, an ESP32 CAM module. To demonstrate how this module works, I'll create a simple camera server with this module. This module doesn't have any USB port, so, I'll use serial adapter to upload the code. Here is the diagram. Now, I'll connect it to my computer, and upload the code. But, before uploading, we have to install the ESP32 board to the board manager of Arduino software. To install the ESP32 boards, I will paste the ESP32 boards link to the board manager URL of Arduino software. Now, I'll simply open the board manager, search for the ESP32 board, and install it. After installing the board, I'll set the board, port, partition scheme, and others. Then, I'll open a built-in example code named, Camera Web Server. In the coding section, I will disable this line and uncomment the AI Thinkers camera models line. Our camera module needs to be connected to a router to act as a camera server. So, here I will write my router's SSID name. And here I will write its password. Now, I will upload the code. After uploading the code, I will disconnect the GPIO0 from the ground pin. Then I will reconnect the ASP32 camera module to the computer again. I will open the serial monitor to ensure that if our ESP32 module is working perfectly, and it's connected to the router. This is the IP address of our camera server. I will copy it, and paste it on the browser. This is the user interface of our camera server, and some options are given to adjust our camera. There is an option available to change the resolution of the camera. And there is also face recognition option available. Anyway, if you increase the resolution, you'll get leggy video with very low frame rate. 
To get higher frame rate, you have to put the camera on lower resolution. There is an option available for special effects. Now, let's try this out. Now, I will check the frame rate on different resolutions. As you can see, we're getting higher frame rate on low resolution, and lower frame rate on higher resolution. Anyway, we can create lots of interesting project using this ESP32 camera module. And it's not a bad idea, if we use it as a room monitoring camera. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay innovative.